Hi all, Hibber here. So uh, today we're checking out the Edinburgh and I'll show you in this video why I prefer the Edinburgh over Plymouth or the uh, Fast Perfect 10. And uh, it's all to do with the armor really. But uh, I'll just go through my build first here. We have uh, three radars because we want radar on this thing. 1.9 rudder shift, 37 knots. And uh, now we can actually show the statistics as well every time we start. And uh, wow, we've gone up a percent by playing one battle, a 62% win rate, <laughs> 700 battles. And uh, this is why I prefer the Edinburgh. It's that 30 millimeter armor because it just allows you to pull off absolutely mind blowing things in this ship here that you cannot do in almost any other ship in the game. So uh, I played this game here on update day and uh, update date is the worst, especially if you're a CC because everybody knows you and they just want to sink you. And this is the first game today where I have had, you know, what I consider more of a normal experience. I haven't been unfairly singled out, anything like that. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed it and it was a seven versus seven. And of course I enjoy that too. I like these smaller battles here. So uh, initially I was going for the B cap, but then I realized ah, there's already a destroyer there. So uh, I'll go for the C cap instead and see if I can't do some spotting over here for the two battleships because they don't even have a cruiser over here. And uh, I'm the only cruiser in the battle. So, uh, you know, I have to be generous with my uh, capabilities, which includes spotting. Uh, that's one of my big things. And uh, I do that a lot. So anyway, we also have a few tier sixes in this battle here, which is uh, obviously a good thing. Um, not that it really matters that much because the 30 millimeter armor can pretty much bounce anything except for Yamato and Georgia, I believe. And uh, that's good because like I said, uh, there's nothing worse being in a cruiser and you know being in a battleship heavy battle like this one here, where there's like, where how many, five out of seven ships are battleships? I'm just so I'm so sick of that. And it's like I really think Wargaming should cap the battleships in particular to a maximum of three or four per battle. It's like oh man, it's so annoying. Anyway, there's lots of them, and uh, we're gonna have a good time here, just uh, trolling them with the uh, 30 millimeter armor. So uh, I want to grab the sea cap first, and there's already a battleship in here. Good on him. Thank you for capping. You don't see that very often. So uh, I'm just gonna show my 30 millimeter bow here because. Uh, that makes me pretty much invulnerable. And uh, it's just a Scharnhorst anyway, so uh, not really too worried about his AP. His HC is more like a nuisance, and uh, the Nagato is also, you know, the same thing. I mean, don't worry about the AP, unless I'm broadside, he can't really hurt me. So uh, I just gotta time my, uh, you know, movements here. And uh, all I really wanna do is get behind the, uh, you know, island in the middle of this cap here, because uh, then this Nagato here, it's, He's like moving into towards the middle of the map, which is obviously a, a bad mistake. <laughs> well, they're all pretty much doing that. And uh, if I can get around the island, I can then uh, attack them uh, from whatever opportune, uh, you know, angle I have at that moment. So now I decide, okay, it's time to turn. So uh, hopefully he won't fire right now, but uh, obviously I've timed this, so I know I can complete my turn before he's reloaded. And then we're just about to finish capping here as well. And then we got all these ships over here in a pretty nasty position now. And there I go dark. And then we just got to reset this Susuya here or sink it if we can, even better. But I don't want him to take a cap. That would be terrible, right? So this here is the Edinburgh gameplay I really enjoy. It's like full speed ahead, always wiggling, always doing stuff. And uh you know, always capping, and when you have the opportunity, always spot. That's it, that's what you do in an agile cruiser, and uh, there is no kiting, there is no, you know, sitting back uh, like that battleship out at, you know, wherever it is that he's sitting. No, nope, we're in here, we're capping, and uh, of course we wanna go to get the B cap now. But uh, in our way is this Naga, so here we just got a nice torp hit on him, that was very nice. So, um, Obviously, we're gonna have to uh, get past him. And there's also a, I believe it's a King George right here on the other side of the island. But uh, I'm obviously setting up a little bit of a torp run here and then keeping the bow on the Nagato so he can't hurt me. But uh, as it so happens, look at that self over there. <laughs> I also have to say, wow, that was, uh, that was well done. And uh, 
I kind of want to save my torps now, so I'm just going to see if I can remove him with my uh, my guns only, and uh, now I kind of have to because that is more that uh, Shine Horse took out my torps. And uh, now the stupid George is in the way, so I can't really torp him, so uh, we're just going to... We're just gonna stick with guns for now and then use a torp or two if we see fit. But uh, I'm not really sure how this guy is gonna turn, so uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a gamble with the torps. And uh, of course, I only had one torp left on the side here, so I'm gonna have to deal with this Nagato here with the other side of my ship. So uh, this is where the fun starts, because cruisers and destroyers, they always think, oh, if I you know hang around this battleship, I'm going to be safe. Nope. Not when there's an Edinburgh in the battle, uh, and unless the battleship is a Yamato, or like I said before. Because uh, I can just go straight bow on to this uh, battleship here, and it's not because it's a tier 6. It's all to do with the uh, diameter of the shells, and uh, he won't be able to penetrate my bow. So uh, I can just go, as I'm doing now, because I know his reload is about to be finished now. Just going to go straight bow on, and uh, then I'm just going to wait till I'm close enough to torp him. And, uh, you know, that's that's the plan here. You can see how he's thinking, uh-oh, this is not going to end well. So, uh, I'm just, you know, waiting until I'm close enough. And uh, it's about time now. And then something unexpected happens. Because, uh, as you can see, I'm just uh, interested in torping this Nagas over here. There's really nothing else that I'm really too interested in. And then a destroyer pops up. And how wonderful, how excellent. And, of course, my torps miss... That's, uh, that's actually a pretty good dodging there by the Nagato. I will give him that. So again, we go bow on to the Nagato, and uh, we're just going to absolutely rail this destroyer here, because the Nagato won't be able to defend the destroyer, and uh, the destroyer missed his torps by, like, like the moon. And uh, although he's trying to, you know, duke with his speed there, that is not going to work, and he's gone. So I don't want to ram this Nagato here, and now I'm not looking there. I miss, I, I hit this stupid little shoal here, and I mean, that could be bad, because uh, he could pretty much take me out here, but he's still reloading. So uh, all we gotta do is just get out of this nasty position here, and then get back up to speed. And that's really easy in Edinburgh, because you got the British acceleration. So although I was stationary before, I'm actually uh, moving at 30 knots again now. <laughs> and uh, just giving him the coup de grace there, and that's it. This is what you can do in Edinburgh, and this is why this ship is so much fun, and you cannot do this in Plymouth at all. Plymouth has like paper armor, and uh, you have to play it from you know, like a safe distance or behind an island or something like that, where you have to sit still, and I hate that, I'm not, and I don't like it. Plymouth is not a bad ship, but it's just not my kind of ship. Uh, Edinburgh, on the other hand, is definitely my kind of ship. Probably my favorite tier 7 cruiser. Um, it's, just, uh, it's just so good. Uh, in any situation really, except if you have to burn down a battleship, then you are in for a tough one. Because uh, as you know, you only have AP on Edinburgh, and although that makes things easier, you know, you don't have to always wonder about, what am I going to shoot at the enemy? Because you only have one thing to pick. But it does mean that once the situation requires you to burn something down, you, uh, yeah, you're pretty much out of tools. So, uh, you know, a battle like this is a lot of fun. And uh, I will gladly, you know, have 10 crappy battles to have one fun battle like this. Um, that's, you know, well, and that's pretty much what happens in the game anyway. But <laughs> that's what I like. Um, you know, some people like it other ways, and that's fine. But uh, this is the way I want to play this game here. And this is the way I have fun, and this is the way that I keep you know, the interest going on in uh, World of Warships Legends, which, you know, we're moving into our fourth year here, and um, I have never, ever, even close, uh, been playing the same game for four years. Not even, yeah. Skyrim, you know, I've played on and off, obviously, as most people have, but nowhere near the amount of hours I've played Legends. And uh, there's probably one or two other games that I've played uh, for more than a year, but uh, nothing nothing even comes close to Legends in the amount of hours I've put in over those four years. And I uh, don't have any torpedoes, so uh, we're just gonna have to shoot AP at this uh, bow on Bismarck here, which obviously isn't gonna do anything. And uh, that's what I was uh, talking about earlier. When you have these situations here, then uh, 
then you're in for a little bit of a rough time. But again, it doesn't really matter at all here. We're just, uh, you know, mopping up this last ship, so it doesn't matter that I can't remove him. Uh, I can now that he's broadside, but of course, everybody's just waiting for this ship to go get down on low hit points, and uh, then someone is going to uh, steal him with, well, not steal him, but remove him with a kill. And uh, I believe this is the, this is the Missouri, yes. And um, as you'll see on the uh, final stat screens, Kills don't mean anything, because this Missouri has three kills and uh, only half the XP I have. And I also have three kills, so <laughs> yeah, means silch. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you out there.